At CES 2025, there were some new power stations and batteries being shown. I got to stop by the Blue 80 booth and see three of their upcoming products. All right, so welcome to the Blue 80 booth here at CES in Vegas. And we've got our new Apex 300. All right, tell me about it. Now, Apex 300 has the battery built in in the main unit. Oh, that's different than the old style where exactly. we just had the, the head unit with the extra batteries. So there's a battery in there. Yeah. Looks like it's uh, almost 2,800 watt hours. Exactly, and you can connect six expansion batteries. In addition to the main unit, you have roughly 18,700 watt hours. And then over here, you were explaining how you connect the battery in, which I guess is over here, and you yeah. can use a 90 degree cable. Absolutely. No longer those big ones that stick out no. and get in the way. Nice and clean. This unit is both 120 volt and 240 volt. We have the switch right here. And it's a standard 240 volt output. Right, a 200, a standard 240 volt output, and you can just flip this. Yeah. So people can, if they have a generator inlet box, they can plug right into it directly into here. That's uh, right. So that's really great. So in a portable power station that's like this, right. that's and pretty. And you can also connect multiple Apex 300s in parallel, uh, three of them maximum together and the overall battery capacity will be 58 kilowatt hours. And then how about the solar input on this guy? So the solar input is 2,400 watts. That was under here? Right here, yeah. So there's two XT60 connectors, and it looks like they can do 1,200 watts each. Or they're rated for 1,200 watts each. Can this do anything else that's uh, unique, special? Another special thing about it is that we have a bi-directional RV charging, RV charger. Oh. So it both input and output, it goes both ways. So. Uh, it's not over here, but we're not that's allowed. That's right, it's over here, but the reason why we are Right now not, it's not launched yet, so that's why we can't show you yeah, that standard 240 volt outlet that's or right, this input that's output. Right. That's right, Google launched on uh, in May 2025. And is this, I see this hub over here, is this what you would use to connect all three together? That's right. So it's a smart A1 hub. Yeah. You can act three of them together. Yeah. And then uh, right. are we allowed to look at those output ports? Yeah. So we can see this 50 amp style, 240 volt outlet output port. And that's then right. uh, is this one another? Okay, so that's another 240. That's the 30 amp style. All right, so here's another thing. The Energy Pro 13K. This is coming out in a couple of months. This is brand new from Blue Eddy. And I have my friend here, Kenneth, to tell us a little bit more about it. Can you tell me what's different about this compared to other power stations or other solutions that are out there? Sure, yeah. So uh, the Bluetti EP1300 is uh, a full hybrid uh, inverter. So all of the rooftop solar would come in on the DC side, which you're looking at right now, and that would charge the batteries. If the batteries are fully charged, then it would export to the grid. Um, it also can back up household loads and uh, provide total isolation without the need of a transfer switch of the, of the household loads. So okay. there's grid lugs and then there's the backup lugs, which are right there. Uh, so if your power goes out, your, your rooftop solar can still be charging the batteries. Yep, there won't even be a blip in it. It'll continue yeah, not, to charge the batteries and it'll continue to power those loads. Um, until, so in that sense, it's like a UPS and you won't even, would your lights even flicker? They wouldn't even Yeah, flicker. lights wouldn't even flicker. Do you know how much solar you can put into this? 13 kW. Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's what 13 comes from. Okay, yep. 13 kW. So at my house, I have a 15.6 kilowatt system. Yep. So basically, my whole rooftop solar array can fit into this. Just about. And then uh, how many batteries can you get? Each battery is about, uh, oh, it's 4.8 4. Yep. kilowatt hours. Yep, so four batteries, so just about 20 kWh can go into each one of the EP1300s and you could run three of them in parallel. So Blue is also coming out with an AC coupled battery, has prismatic cells in it, which makes it smaller versus the uh, cylindrical cells so they can put more energy in a smaller space. And it's meant to connect up to the Blue Eddy smart hub here. And then this thing has an automatic transfer switch in it. So if you had the power go out, then it would just switch to providing power from the battery. And then you can just hook in your main or your backup loads sub panel right there. And then these breakers are for adding more batteries. And then the new EP1300 can also work with this system. So if you have this, in inputting your solar, you can connect it up to the hub, and if you want more capacity, 
you can use these batteries or max that out, or if you want even more capacity, you can add these batteries uh, into the hub. So I didn't get any pricing information on these three items, but they are supposed to be released in May, so that will be forthcoming.